All right, y'all, what's going on? This is Jason checking in. Castle XLX2 ESC right here. I removed all the extra wiring, so we're gonna go ahead and solder on these connectors. First we're going to start with is positive, alright, so this is my jumper wire, we're using QS8, anti-spark. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of a flux, and we're going to dip that into captivity. Alright, insert our wire, so we're going to remove a little bit of insulation. We have our dummy connector here, so we don't misalign the mail pin, just go ahead and connect that up. We're gonna insert this in here right now. Let's get our iron, make sure it's clean. Seems like it's clean. Just trying to hold it in place. XLX2 ESC. QSA connector. We're doing the positive side first. Looks okay. Probably add a little bit more. Oh, I like that. Just hold this thing up a little bit. Nice and hot. That's all we want. It's nice and hot. So now we got that. We've got that nice and hot. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. See what that looks like? It's pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and remove our connector, our dummy connector. Move some of the extra insulation. Not really needed. Gonna route our wire. here because you don't want to forget to do that oh my god it sucks it really sucks all right so we're going to add a little bit of flux in the captivity 
Cool. Get our solder. Cool. Let's go ahead and get this thing squared away in here. We can do that part later. Don't forget to add the dummy part. Now we're gonna don't worry about that. Just have to get it up in here, right? You know what I'm saying? Just get that up in there. And just keep adding solder. That's it. Pretty much it. So, uh, give me a minute, and then we'll we'll, um, we'll update the ESC. Fire it up. Until then, just hang tight a few minutes. But uh, let me give you a close up of these joints. Some good joints on our caps. There we go. Okay. Right, give me a few minutes. We'll get the PC all booted up. And we'll get everything connected. All right. All right, Pete. All right, guys. We're back. Got the Castle Link here. Got the computer. Oh, castling. There you go. This is it right here. This is what we need. Plug that into our. What's it called? Okay, so it's telling me to update 2.12. Changes. Improved motor drive for Delta. Wound and high KV motor. Reduce motor beat power. At higher voltages, remove sensor only motor type settings. Let's go and update firmware. All right, so looks like we're updated. So let's go through here. Lipo 3.2 with reverse BEC. I like my BECs higher, but uh, we'll just do, for now, we'll do six volts. Yeah, we'll do six volts for now. Brake amount, blah, blah, blah. Drag, brake ramp, I don't care about that. Power, start, start low power. Max power, 100% reverse. Punch control. Um, we'll do punch control, like 40% punch control. Boom, boom, boom. Aim and time and uh, 
disabled throttle, whatever. Motor direction normal, smart sense, enable smart sense, enable sensor loss warning, sensorless timing. I don't think you can change the timing. Oh, and sensorless, you can't. So we'll do like 20. <laughs> motor temperature, um, we'll do like a 109 degrees, okay? It's warning you, it's not, it won't do it if you're not in censored. Login, that's about it. So let's go ahead and update everything. Let's get this thing fired up, see what happens, all right? Castle 2028 800 kV. I'm gonna go ahead and connect these batteries. Turn on the ESC. All right, so we calibrated radio to ESC. So let's see what we got. Seems like it's all right. I don't think the fan hooked up. 800 KB. Um, we could try the sensor thing too. Let's go ahead and try the sensor, all right? Let's go ahead and turn it off. All right, so we got the central cable hooked up. We got the wire swap. Let's see what we get. So that's sensor mode. I guess we're all right. We're in sensor mode and it's doing just fine. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see y'all next time.